In the summer of 2012, in Pinua, Manitoba, the seventh sacred circle took place. Youth delegates from across Canada challenged a request to make a film presentation about what we had learned here. This film was about the seven traditional teachings of wisdom passed on from generation to generation. Love, peace, humility, tolerance, kindness, forgiveness, and respect. As Anglican Indigenous people, we begin to ask ourselves, what does God want us to do in life? We were fortunate enough to find a solution to that question. To have traveled from all corners of the country to one central location to share the gospel, for seven days we truly were walking the dream. Give us one more sacred circle, that's all I ask of you. One more kindness and faith, that's all we need. Get us through the love and trust you give. I'm a violet bird. I'm from Montreal Lake, Saskatchewan. I am here as a learner with the youth in our talking circle for the seventh Anglican Indigenous Sacred Circle. In our youth, we have a chance to enhance the seven powerful grandfather's teachings. We have a chance to learn to take part in the seven words. My word is forgiveness. How do we extend the ministry of our churches to more communities and places to this? This is remote, isolated places, such as prisons, urban areas, rehab centers, marginalized people, homeless, vets, college students, single parents. Forgiveness is traditional teaching of our people. It gives the opportunity of healing to feel happiness. Jesus forgave them in a tribe, in a home, in a person on the cross. When Jesus was nailed to the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for not, for they not know what they are doing. Every time we have we have this gathering. We always have our sacred choir in this area here. And when we had this, supposed to, we have this sacred choir for for days until we're done. The fire keeps going from that from the day we start, and then it stops when we're done. And two people look after this every day and every night. They take turns. And then apparently one 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 evening, some people came and kicked them out and this was our land before. But the people, the indigenous people, are able to forgive the people that have done that to them because they know how to forgive. They were taught from their parents and they were taught from their, from church. And uh, and then they came and that's how we're, uh, we are taught is to forgive people that have done us wrong. Just like Jesus 
told his father to forgive the people that had nailed him on the cross. Thank you. Trust comes from seven teachings of our people. From across the land, we are to have trust in our Creator God, trust in our people like our elders. The sacred teaching of trust is a part of our Misaga Declaration as we gather in a sacred circle of love, prayer, and hope for our church. Trust in Turtle Island and in God is what we youth believe in for our future. Where does authority come from? Do we have authority? Authority comes from the church as we interpret it. We necessarily don't have authority. However, we are getting there. First there was the covenant, a call to our people in unity to be self-determining within the Anglican Church of Canada. In 2005, there was a call in the last sacred circle for a national indigenous Anglican bishop. And in 2007, Mark MacDonald was appointed as our first national indigenous Anglican bishop. There has been talks about indigenous people having their own area missions. Northern Ontario and Saskatchewan have elected their bishops. We are getting there. It is by respecting the teachings of the elders, by respecting those in authority who walk with us in this journey. I am Teresa Halkett from Montreal Acre Nation. I am here coordinating at the Secret Circle for the Youth. And my topic is, is faith. And also the, the question that I that I have is um, what makes an effective lay minister an ordained minister? I think for me it goes back to um, the person that is being elected or being having a vision of being a minister and also a lay reader. And without faith, they wouldn't be as effective as they were when they first started. As we've read in Matthew 16, verses 13 to 23, Jesus asked his disciples, Who is the Son of Man? And the disciples all had different answers. And that's how our people are today our First Nations youth, they do not know who Jesus is. They do not know who God is. And one of the seven teachings that I'm going to share and talk about is peace. And in order for us to have peace, we need to know who Jesus is and who God is because God gave us his son and Jesus brought peace to us. Scotland, as it mank, Shabando, or Sakaragon, Sakia, the Sagan, the good, Sakaragon, Shabando, but Mamma Tenjan. Thank you.
Sa bando. Tapon. Ayan naman. My, my name is Tyson Halkin. I'm from Montreal, Saskatchewan, the Diocese of Saskatchewan. And I'm very proud to be here with these youth. I'm very proud to be at my third Sacred Circle. And the question I have to answer today is, as Indigenous people, what are our strengths? Well, we are taught to be very kind to all races of people. As Indigenous people, kindness is one of our strengths. It says in Matthew 16:24. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life, for me, will find it. And as an individual people, we we'll live by this verse. We we'll live by this verse for Jesus because he's so kind to, to everyone. Every one of us, he can change everybody's hearts. I'm recording now, so. Alright, I'm ready. Cool. Sorry, guys. Okay.